Welcome back to Pinkola Tech and today we have a very unusual product. We have not reviewed anything like this before. It's a 4K webcam from Globus and the reason why we have this is we're not only thinking of this as a practical aspect from video conferencing or education point of view, but we're also thinking from the point of view, this is the first camera that we have or this is the first product on this channel which is made in India. And I feel this is very important that we also focus on the products that are being developed in India now. So this is Aurelius here from Pinkula Tech and let's start off with this video for the Globus 4K camera. Now Globus as a company makes many multimedia conferences devices. They have multimedia displays, interactive displays which are touch screen and you can interact with it while you're giving a presentation. They also have mechanical cameras which will track people while they're having a conference on and track even the audio. So they have array mics for their cameras. This one here is a far more compact of those devices. It does not have any moving parts. It's a 4K resolution camera and it's got an automated voice tracking. It also tracks the subject or the person who is having the conversation right now with a very advanced AI. Some of the features that it has is, for example, if I turn my back towards the camera and there's somebody else who's talking, it will focus on the other person. But if I'm looking at the camera directly and addressing the conference or the camera directly, it will completely stay focused on me. It also, if there are multiple people who are in the room who are having a conversation with the camera, it will track that person's voice. That's a very neat feature. Apart from that, it has a field of view of 112 degrees. That's a good enough view in case you want to crop in, especially when the camera tracks into the subject, that field of view comes really very important. The only drawback with that field of view is there's somebody sitting at the corner of the field of view, and then that person has a very, very cross-section view or it looks, it gives that fisheye effect and it doesn't really feel normal. But that's quite expected and I think with further software updates, this will improve on the camera. So from the point of view of conferencing, this is good. Like 4K video output from a webcam which can stream in directly with a Type-C connection, that's a very neat future ready technology that we already have at our disposal. But can we really use this camera for streaming as well? Now we have connected this to our OBS that we use for streaming on a regular basis. And the kind of feed that I'm looking at right now, also when I'm moving around and tracking, it's just brilliant. It's, I'm just happy to see something that is tracking me so actively. The only other place that I've seen something like this actively tracking me is in Apple's iPad. It's called the center stage feature. And to see something like this happen without an Apple iPad, which can track me and I can use this on my Windows computer for my normal conference calls, I can include a heap of crowd to do this. To give you an example, I'm gonna call my friends here, Aditya and Sadaji, and we're gonna see how well the camera tracks us while each of us have an interaction with the camera or just turn our faces around. Let's try this out. What's up, Ari? This is Aditya. Hey, man. Hey, guys. So it's, oh, it's actively framing the both of us and that's Siddharth. Hi. Siddharth, hey, just come into the frame more. I think you're at the yeah. edge of the frame. Why don't you start talking to Siddharth? Oh, it's moving a lot. So, uh, hi guys, my name is Siddharth and it's not... Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. This usually happens with us, you know. Like... So we'll try and see if this is gonna... Uh... Oh, it is reframing to my face. It is reframing to my face, but uh, if the moment Siddhaji is coming to the frame, Siddhaji look into the frame, he's coming. Adi, you come in. Here, it's already at the max out thing, but so if I move away, again, here, see, it's because it's tracking me. And if I move to, into the frame again, it's tracking me. So the moment I stop talking, so it, it's got the three or four in the frame. That's fine. It's taking some time, but I think it's learning on its own and, oh, the API for this is open source, so there is a possibility that a lot of developers can also contribute to the development of this product, which is again a neat touch. It's not proprietary based. Let us go back to the camera. Yeah, yeah please yeah. So a lot of you developers can also take advantage of this technology and put a good use to it. Now we do get a dedicated remote for this camera, which can be used to Crop in the zoom, you can also switch between auto tracking or auto reframing and you can also switch between the source. Now, when we tried it with Siddharth and Aditya in the frame, we did have a little bit of wonkiness to the camera when it had trouble focusing on which it is. Now, we are in the studio, it's a closed environment, so maybe the voice is bouncing up, but it did pick up my voice eventually and it started tracking me. 
Right now, when I'm alone here, if I move away from the camera, it's zooming into me, it's zooming into my source of voice. If I move close to the camera, it zooms out. But with the remote, I can put that off and I can set it to a frame, maybe zoom in and keep it to a particular person. Or you can also switch between a source, which is a neat trick to have, especially when you don't want somebody to interrupt a conference and also have a seamless experience to it. That being said, this is also a neat feature when you want to use this camera for directly streaming or your live streaming for games. We are used to using our webcams, so most of them also use high-end DSLR cameras. But if you have something like this or a Globus 4K camera which can auto-frame you, also give you an output which is not exactly DSLR-like but which is very close with not the depth of field but any which ways we have a green screen going on in the background and we mostly blur out what's going on in the background. This would be a much more cheaper device to have than a proper full-fledged DSLR camera. To summarize this video, I feel that there is a lot of potential in companies that are there in India right now who are developing products like this and Globus as a company is doing a very good job in developing products as such as these. This will directly benefit the education industry like because of pandemic we have moved to our computers and digital sources for education and this is one of the necessary things that made in India are cheaper and they deliver. This is Aurelius from Pinkula Tech signing off for more such tech related reviews, stay tuned to us, like and subscribe and if there's any Anything particular that you guys would like us to cover, do leave us a comment. Have a good evening ahead. It's tracking me. Oh, it's close. Are you tracking me? Oh, belly bar, bro. See? Mm -hmm. You're being very partial. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>